Hey Fish and Freaks, pond, lake, water bodies of some sort. We're fishing down here in the city today. Just rolled over to uh, some downtown place in, in Dallas. My boy Craig, I can see him over there, uh, all the way over there on the other side of this place. He's down there, I'm gonna go meet Craig. We're gonna go meet Craig. We got a few bass rods in here. We'll see what we can do, we'll see if we can catch a city bass. All the way over there on the other side, my boy Craig. Hey Craig. You can't hear me. We're separated by a big thing of water here. Pretty big. This looks very spinnerbaity. Got a few, uh, looks like a few Michelob Ultras down there. Uh, what else we got in here? On first appearance. First appearance looks pretty dirty. I'm not gonna lie. Looks very uh, spinnerbaitish, which I don't have. Don't have any of that goodness. Got a got a brush hog, of some sort rigged up here. So I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's pee. It certainly ain't water. Well, if I fell in this water, I'd probably go see the doctor. Go get a shot in my butt. No telling what is living up in this place. I'm interested to see if I actually catch a bass and what it's going to look like. It might look radioactive or something. Craig swears he's seen bass caught out of here, so I'm going to see how full of it he is. It's not that deep. Surprisingly, I just got hammer shanked right there. Fish definitely uh, bit my lure. Well, I'm telling you, it is pretty gross down here. All right, I got one bite already though. I got one bite and it hammered, hammer shanked it. Hammer shanked it. So hopefully I can see see what bass bass looks like out here. Craig caught one too. I saw them there on the other side, so I know they're in here. It's really important when you're fishing in places like this. We want to make sure you have some proper footwear. Now these boots I have on, they're heroin needle proof. I got these tested. They are 100%, uh, you know, there's like rattlesnake proof boots. These are heroin needle proof boots. So when you're fishing in downtown sketchy areas, you can walk with a clean conscience knowing you're not gonna get AIDS or some other weird diseases. Walk down to some rocks. I got a good feeling here. The feeling is good. Got some riprap rocks. I'd be surprised if there's a bass just tucked away Close. No way. Craig. He dropped it because I was turning on my GoPro, but I mean, freaking hammered it and was just moving. I didn't think he'd let it go. Oh my gosh, that fish just hammered it. It's trying to get cute and fancy with the camera. Just boom. There's another one. Oh, God. Dude, this hook freaking sucks that I've got. Dang. Got some stupid little round hook on here I shouldn't be throwing on this brush hog. Just what was on here when I picked up my rod. Those are so close. I wonder if they're like on beds. I have to be on a bed, dude. It's got to it's got to be bed fish. I think that's what's going on here, guys. Fish is not fully uh fully getting the worm here. Dude, that sucker had it. Oh my gosh. He ate it. That guy absolutely ate it. Oh, dude, I think I cut his side with my hook set, dude. I think you did too. Oh man, I have never seen this before, guys. Mmm. I set the hook so hard I sliced him. I had to duck. I, I wrapped him and sliced him. I almost took my head off. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. You see that? That's what the fishing line did to him, man. Oh man, good. he's definitely getting AIDS from this place. Oh, that is not good. Oh, all right. I'll let you go, guy. Sorry for ruining your life. Sorry. Sorry about that. You'll Dang. get you'll get over it. That hurts. Oh man, I'm bloody. I've got no, AIDS. That is not good. I got AIDS. 
Oh man, what do we call this place, Craig? This is Tetanus Shot Creek. Tetanus Shot Creek. They do exist in here. I caught one, that was crazy. I was sitting there talking, talking to Craig and my lure was right by my feet and it just sat there. It was just sitting there not moving. I was like, am I hung? Am I hung on a log? And then I just started seeing it moving. I set the hook and I set the hook really hard and it was weird. The bass like hit it, turned, and my hook or my line was underneath his body. And when I set the hook, I sliced him. Uh, I feel bad, I feel bad for slicing that bass, but I've never seen that before. That was crazy. Craig, say hi to the fishing freaks. What's going on? I haven't seen you in a while. They've been wanting some Craig. Gosh, last time we fished, I think was Toledo Bend. When was that? Not too long. July, last year. Too long. Is that the, that's the last time I've seen you, I think. Uh, seen me, you think so? Isn't it? Wait, when did you get married? Oh, hey, good call. Yeah, I was at the wedding. Yeah, that's the best man. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, we weren't fishing that day, unfortunately. I mean, Greg was getting married to the love of his life. Stupid interruptions, you know what I mean? But now we're good, we're about to fishing now. We got marriage out of the way. Priorities are straight now. Priorities are straight. Good go. Look, I got another bite, I got another bite. Don't, don't kill him this time. Is he moving? I think he's moving. Oh. oh. Missed him, dude, missed him. Dang, throwing that brush hog there, guys. This is not the right hook. I was using this hook for some stupid reason. And anyway, it's on there. It's a, it's like a a, a ring, a rigging hook. I think is what they call it. Oh, the rig and hook. It's like rig and hook. What's that? For? Yeah, I don't really know. Is that but like it, a wacky setup? Or? All I know is it doesn't catch fish, dude. Is that a digital reel? This is a digital reel that I'm using right now, yes. Why? It's loud when you cast it, all I hear is, I'm a cheaters. <laughs> I'm a cheaters. I'm a cheaters. With a Z? No. Well, yeah, you can put a Z on there if you want. I'm a cheaters. You think that's cheating with a digital reel? I mean, it's probably smart. You avoid the backlashes. You want to have a casting contest right now? I'd rather not. Hey, Craig, you remember that time we uh, floated the river and we both got pink eye? This kind of reminds me of that time right now. My what? Why do we always wind up fishing these like weird rivers and creeks? I don't know, because we, we find out they have fish in them and that's all it takes. Did you get two bites? Yeah, get in there. Like 10 feet out. Yeah, a little shorter than that, but right in there. You mean I, I, I overcasted? Yeah. Okay. Maybe structure. Then what's the difference? That's a crappie. Craig got a crappie, guys. That's the ugliest crappie I've ever seen. It's white because it's so uh, muddy. It's so muddy out here, dude. Look at this thing. Hold, hold that beauty up. It's like kind of purplish. Yeah, that's the weirdest. Wait a minute. Is that a crappie? What I think it this? is a crappie. It's either a crappie or a warm mouth. Here, grab him. Let's see. Uh, slippery as hell. He's got a hard lock jaw. Look at that. Dude. That's what's been pegging Whoa, it. Oh, dude. I think this might be a, uh, what should we call it? I think so too. What's uh, call it's uh, yeah. rare here, but warm out? Are you yeah, it's just up? off color because it's so dark out here. And either way, that's a toad. Yo, like, good job. Toad. Thank you. I think I'm gonna mount that one. Have a paperweight on my desk. <laughs> See him take off? Like a rocket. Hey, is that tell me the skill set to hook a tiny fish like that on a spinnerbait. Hardcore. I mean a game. You gotta have that that touch, you know, to hook a uh, war mouth. Or what you call it, war mouth? What you call it, war mouth? Native to Tetanus Shot Creek. <laughs> what would be the true species name? What do you think? Like if you had to go Latin on it. Viral herpendrum, you know, <laughs> something like that. Is that, is that Latin for viral herpes? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, look at this creek. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. This is literally a sewer drain, I think. I think it's a sewer drain. You know what's sitting right there? That yellow bottle on the bank? It's definitely a bottle of pee. I'm pretty sure there's about 87 tampons on the shoreline. A couple of old Trojans. This is uh, <laughs> used ones of the used variety. <sighs> Don't mess with Texas, is what they say. But. Everyone dumps all the crap in here. Hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, we gotta go get some hydrogen peroxide on this finger right here since I, I cut myself on a bass that 
probably had AIDS. Craig found this little spot and I think it's got a lot of potential. I think you can come crush them out here on a frog here in a few months. Yeah. It's a small waters, but um, how many, you caught one on a spinnerbait? A bass? You caught one on a bass yep. on a spinnerbait. Yep. And then, uh, Tonight. Had a couple other bites. And then I had like four bites on the uh, little brush hog bait. I don't know what was going on there. They pick it up. They just move off with it. Like I thought for sure I was about to crush a good one. That one you caught was a freaking fatty. Yeah, he it was, was really fat. I just thought it'd be fun to kind of come down here, uh, meet Craig at a random place and uh, fish this little creek for about an hour. Like the old days. Well, just like the old days, man. Like after school special. That's it, that's just, what this is. Basically just after school, go out, catch a few bass, go home, do your homework and get up again, do it the next day. We didn't hurt ourselves. We, uh, we, didn't, we didn't contract anything bad, we hope. And it was a fun little entertaining uh, evening here on the beautiful, whatever. Tetanus Shot Creek. Tetanus Shot Creek. Tetanus Shot Creek, guys. So uh, thumbs up thumbs up for this video. We're gonna do more um, adventures with Craig coming up soon. I know you guys have missed him. Um, we're back together again, reunited. So you wanna do some yakking? Please. Let's do some yakking, bro. Been about a year, it feels like. We'll see you on the next one.